In 1945, the United States launched a scientific intelligence initiative titled Operation Alsos. The objective was to recover intelligence on scientific and militaristic projects conducted under the Third Reich. What they found was something much stranger. A cache of documents related to the Ananerb, which was a scientific academy and think tank, indicated a division that was dedicated to the study of occult sciences. In fact, extensive research was being conducted on extrasensory perception, spirit channeling, divination, and other forms of anomalous phenomena. The paranormal was being scientifically explored, but for what purpose is unclear. After uncovering these documents, the U.S. began its own investigations into altered consciousness and the supernatural, and they continued for decades. Some of these projects, like MKUltra, have been widely reported on. However, some have received little to no exposure since declassification. One report, titled Analysis and Assessment of Gateway Process, went largely unexamined until recently. It was declassified in 2003 by the U.S. Army, and it detailed a scientific technique developed by the Monroe Institute to facilitate astral projection, out-of-body experience, and states of altered consciousness. The purpose was to create individuals who could transcend space and time. They could achieve this through the use of the gateway tapes. Robert Monroe was a radio broadcasting executive in the early 1950s. He formed Ram Enterprises, which was a corporation that produced network radio programs. However, Monroe was interested in exploring how sound frequencies can impact the human mind. He was obsessed with discovering methods of hypnopedia, which means learning via audio while asleep. Monroe experimented with frequencies to enhance memory and learning for years. However, in 1958, he got more than he bargained for. During one of his experiments, he experienced paralysis, bodily vibrations, and bright lights, until he seemingly exited his body, floating somewhere near the ceiling. This experience was later publicized in articles and books, and it helped popularize the term out-of-body experience, or OBE. He was frightened, but also intrigued, and he began to pursue this experience, describing it as proof of the spiritual world. As Ram Enterprises grew beyond radio production, they rebranded as Monroe Industries, and they developed a research division named the Monroe Institute. There, they studied the impact of sound frequencies and patterns on human consciousness. Monroe discovered that the human brain was subject to a frequency following response, which means brain waves would naturally adapt to mimic the audio frequencies played to it. However, many known brainwave patterns like beta, theta, and delta occur at frequencies that are inaudible to the human ear. To circumvent this limitation, Monroe would play different frequencies to the left and right ears, which would create a beat frequency. A beat frequency is simply the difference between the two played frequencies. For example, if a 210 Hz frequency is played in one ear, and 220 Hz frequency is played in the other ear, it would generate a beat frequency of 10 Hz, evoking physiological and mental states that are related to those brainwave frequencies. This process would synchronize the amplitude and frequency of brainwaves between both hemispheres. This synchronization is called hemisync and it rarely occurs in natural circumstances. Monroe claimed that the gateway process could lead to prolonged states of hemisync, and he could stimulate states of consciousness by forcing the brain to emulate frequencies. By evoking delta brain waves in the 1 to 4 hertz range, he could elicit states of meditation or relaxation. 
Early research at the Monroe Institute suggested that the gateway process had many practical applications. Stress relief, pain anesthetic, accelerated learning, and more. However, it would only later be applied in an attempt to create psychic soldiers under the guidance of the U.S. Army. In 1983, Lieutenant Colonel Wayne M. McDonnell submitted a classified report titled An Analysis and Assessment of Gateway Process. He was tasked with exploring astral projection and out-of-body experiences and how the gateway process might be used to train soldiers for intelligence gathering purposes. The subject matter can be difficult to understand, but the following is a synopsis of McDonnell's report. Aware that his investigation was skirting the supernatural, McDonnell sought to ground his analysis in scientific study. He connected his report to the following branches of study. Biomedicine, to determine the physical processes and effects that occur during the gateway process. Quantum mechanics, to attempt to explain the interplay between consciousness and the physical world. Theoretical physics, to understand the physical world that would be transcended and Newtonian physics to ground his findings and dispel any occult or paranormal connotations. The gateway process was described as a training system, quote, designed to bring enhanced strength, focus, and coherence to the amplitude and frequency of brainwave output between the left and right hemispheres, so as to alter consciousness, moving it outside the physical sphere so as to ultimately escape even the restrictions of time and space. To understand how human consciousness could escape the physical body, McDonnell asserted that the world is a hologram, a theory which is shared by even current day physicists. All matter consists of atoms, small nucleic centers surrounded by large electron energy fields. The energy fields between all matter coexist and interact, and through these interactions, all energy fields become imprinted and encoded with information. Furthermore, complex principles and holographic theory suggest that this imprinting can occur between dimensions. Not only is there an interconnectedness between everything we know, but perhaps there is information in our world about dimensions that we have yet to discover. The holographic theory is further complicated by interaction with human consciousness. We do not passively perceive the world, but through perception, we change it. Through free will, we can selectively perceive and influence the holographic universe. Similar to popular New Age ideas like the secret and law of attraction, human beings can manifest certain realities through imagination and willpower. Lastly, McDonald speculates that human consciousness may be able to temporarily escape time and space, utilizing the gateway tapes to accelerate brainwave frequencies. These brainwaves may break a physical limitation known as the Planck distance. The Planck distance is the smallest measurable distance in the physical world. The peaks of accelerated brainwaves and theoretically the accompanying human consciousness would temporarily enter a sub planckian universe. This primordial dimensional space predates our known universe, and it is not subject to the limitations of time and space. McDonald theorized that consciousness would blink into this sub planckian space and return with knowledge that would otherwise be inaccessible. Quote, it becomes possible to see how human consciousness brought to a sufficiently altered state could obtain information concerning the past, present, and future. The practice of using the gateway tapes is referred to as the gateway process. Before beginning, subjects are instructed to visualize a box and place any extraneous concerns inside. This is meant to help improve focus. Then they are instructed to meditate while humming a single tone. After sufficient preparation, the hemisync frequencies are introduced. It's only through exposure and diligent practice that subjects can reach the furthest possibilities of this practice. McDonald describes the following as possible outcomes of the gateway process. Improved problem solving, 
by calling on a higher self, which is the expanded consciousness of the subject. Patterning, projecting the will into the universal hologram in an attempt to manifest a new reality. Color breathing and energy bar tool techniques are meant to simulate healing effects on the body through the use of visualization. Out-of-body experiences allow individuals to exit their bodies and explore the physical world and beyond. This aspect of the gateway process is what McDonald finds to have the most potential for use in intelligence operations as it would allow for instantaneous information gathering. However, he notes that the process seems to garble or distort information being gathered, limiting its efficacy. The analysis of gateway process is a deep exploration into something seemingly supernatural. Remote viewing and out-of-body experiences would revolutionize information gathering. If individuals could be quickly trained and results could be dependably replicated, the gateway process would be an invaluable tool to intelligence and military agencies. However, the practical applications seem to be an afterthought for McDonald. Instead, the document spends more time establishing a grand theory to explain how out-of-body experiences might be possible. The holographic world, the influence of will, and our conscious minds, escaping into a sub universe outside space and time, all through the simple act of meditation aided by uniquely paired sound frequencies. There is one more odd detail remaining about this document. Page 25 of the report is mysteriously missing. The implication is that this page explored the practical applications in greater depth. However, it has not been included in the declassified release. A petition exists for the public's access, but the CIA has released a statement that they never received this page either. One theory is that McDonnell omitted this page to drive individuals to explore the gateway process on their own. If you're one of the intrepid souls looking to put McDonald's theories to the test, links to the Monroe Institute and Gateway Tapes are included in the description below. For those of you who plan to remain in this dimension, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Was the 25th page removed as part of a cover-up? You tell me. Thanks for watching.